the next so this we have discussed now next we have duality property okay now let me open this so what is duality property says this we have already discussed this property is called duality property so we have an identity what is the identity a intersection uh, intersection b union c a intersection b union c is equal to a intersection b union a intersection c if this is the identity if you have any identity if you replace intersection with union and union with intersection okay and wherever you have that s what is s s is called universal set no? wherever you have s you should replace with phi and wherever we have phi phi should be replaced with s okay so then we will be getting one more identity it is also preserved it will also be valid identity okay so you see this this is a valid identity what is valid identity a intersection b union c is equal to a intersection b union a intersection c this is a valid identity so from reality principle we know that wherever we have intersection we are replacing intersection with union so in the place of intersection we are replacing with union wherever we have union we are replacing with intersection okay so here also on right side also in the place of intersection we are replacing with union union will be replaced with intersection so that so this will also give us valid identity okay this is the property reality property okay and see this example so reality property we can verify by using this okay so in the previous example we have taken a is equal to 1 2 4 6 b is equal to 2 6 8 10 c is equal to 3 less than or equal to c less than or equal to 4 okay see here a b a and b are represented in a tabular method of representation where c is represented by using rule based method of representation okay now can you tell me what is b union c b union c where c values between 3 and 4 no where b value is 2 and 3 and 4 will be included then 6 8 10 3 and 4 will be included then 6 8 10 and similarly what is a intersection b a intersection b see here whichever elements are common here we have only 2 and 6 2 and 6 are common similarly a intersection c what is a intersection c so here uh, c c which are the elements c will include it will include 3 less than or equal you have see here so it will include 3 and 4 also okay so a intersection 3 is c will be having only 4 because 4 is common between c and a so left side of this what is left side a intersection b union c b union c we already found no b union c we already found a intersection b union c now which are elements are common now 2 is common 4 is common 6 is common yes or no this is a this is b union c okay the second line is having b union c okay so in this which are common the common elements are 2 4 6 okay so a intersection b union c is 2 4 6 then you see this right side the right side of this equation is a union b a intersection b union a intersection c a intersection b we already found it is 2 comma 6 and a union intersection c also we have found that is 4 the union of these two the union of these two is 2 4 6 so are you getting 2 4 6 only so the results shows that uh, whatever result we are getting on left side is equal to the result whatever we are getting on right side so that this is a valid identity okay since this this identity is valid okay whenever you have intersection you have to replace intersection with union wherever you have union union should be replaced with intersection and if you have universal set replace in the universal set by null set if you have null set null set should be replaced with the uh, universal set then we are getting one more identity it is also valid okay so this duality principle will say that this is the duality principle that will say that okay is it clear any doubts here understood this example ma understood ma'am okay thank you 
So next to we'll discuss what is probability introduced through sets and relative frequency. Okay, so this is very important. Okay, till now we have discussed about the introduction of sets, which is uh, important to understand what is probability. Okay, so now we'll discuss what is uh, probability introduced through sets and relative frequency. This examples we'll discuss at the end. Okay. Whatever examples here we have tried or that we will discuss at the end. Okay. So first we will discuss what is probability introduced through sets and relative frequency. Okay. So probability can be defined in two ways. There are two ways to represent probability. The first, mm, the first is based on set theory and fundamental axioms. Using set theory and fund fundamental axioms, we can define probability. That is the first method. The second method is based on relative frequency. So relative frequency is mainly based more on common sense and by doing observations, okay. So we'll be doing engineering or scientific observations. We are finding the probability. So if you are finding probability by using observations and common sense, then, then that is called probability using relative frequency. So that is why we have the topic of introduction uh, probability introduced through sets and relative frequency. So probability can be introduced through sets. This is first method. The other method is using relative frequency. Relative frequency is based on common sense or engineering or science scientific observations. Okay. So what is that we'll do? What is probability? First, we'll ask, um, the probability through sets is very important because this we will be using throughout our course. Okay. So first we'll discuss how to introduce probability through relative frequency, okay. So how, how it will be performed, how do you find out probability here? The probability can be found by using uh, the physical experiment. We have to perform some physical experiment, okay. So then only we can find out the probability, okay. So here in this particular topic, what we do, we are finding mathematical model for experiment okay we have to find write the mathematical model for experiment okay so uh, uh, so here we are finding uh, mathematical model for experiment using some probabilistic way it is a probabilistic way so it is not deterministic way so you know what is probabilistic way and deterministic way probabilistic way means you cannot predict the result okay deterministic way means you can predict the result means you will be having already mathematical equation for that so you can predict the result then that is called deterministic way so here we will be performing the experiment by using probabilistic way okay so then we are able to find out what is the probability okay so if you are finding the, if you are performing the experiment only once okay it is called trial for which there is a outcome whenever we perform an experiment once single performance of an experiment is called trial for which there is an outcome okay now we first discuss what is random experiment okay so to un to understand the probability through sets and relative frequency first we have to understand what is random experiment then only we can understand what is probability through sets and relative frequency okay so here we are finding random experiment using probabilistic manner means we cannot find out the output of the experiment we cannot predict the output of the experiment then it is called random experiment okay an experiment is a random experiment if its outcome cannot be predicted okay one out of a number of outcomes is possible in a random experiment okay so a single performance of an experiment is called trial and it has an outcome okay so, for example, you take this experiment, flip a coin, okay, what are the possible outcomes? We will be having heads or tails, okay. And for example, you take an experiment of exam marks. What are the possible outcomes? We can get marks from 0 to 100, okay. And similarly, if I ask you to join for the meeting, what is the probability of uh, joining the meeting? Is you can join okay, at any time, T grade 1 and equal to 0, okay. And similarly, course grades. What are the probability of outcomes of course grades is A, A plus, sometimes B, B plus, C, D. Yeah, okay, these are the course grades. So probability, uh, random experiment will have possible outcomes. Okay, these outcomes cannot be predicted. Okay, 
the uh, result of the experiment may be any one of this sort. Is it clear? So, what is experiment? Any physical action can be considered as an experiment. Just now we have discussed tossing a coin, throwing or rolling a die or dice, and drawing a card from deck of 52 cards are examples of experiment. Okay. Now, what is sample space? Just now we have discussed experiment. No? So the outcomes, all possible outcomes of an experiment is called sample space. Okay. So it is like universal set we have discussed now. Universal set of a particular experiment is called sample space. Okay. So it will be having all possible outcomes of an experiment. Okay. And it is represented by letter S and then the sample space is universal set for the experiment. Okay. The sample space can be of four types. So discrete and finite sample space, discrete and infinite sample space, continuous and finite sample space, continuous and infinite sample space. These are the four possible sample space. Okay. So what is discrete? So if you are uh, throwing a die, if you are throwing a die, what is the sample space now? When you throw a die, what is the sample space? What are the possible outcomes? Answer no. It's an yes, ma'am. If you are one throwing two six numbers, yeah, one to six. Okay, so one to six is it finite? It is having only six elements, no? Yes, ma'am. Having six elements, and it is also finite and it is discrete because it is not continuous, it is discrete. We can count that. Okay, if you are able to count that, then it is discrete. Okay, and so this is the example of a discrete and finite sample set. Okay, throwing a tile, tossing a coin, exam marks, okay, or whatever we have discussed here, other uh, whatever we have discussed here, other than assembly time, p greater than or equal to zero. Other than this, these three are the examples for the discrete and finite sample space. And what is discrete in the infinite sample space? Can anybody give the example for discrete and infinite sample space? Set of natural number. Yes, ma'am. Set of natural numbers, ma'am. Set of natural numbers, very good. Are choosing a randomly uh, positive integer, okay, in infinite set. So you have infinite set. From infinite set, you have to choose a positive integer. Then, since it is infinite set, you will be having the values from minus infinity to plus infinity, and all are discrete, okay. But it is infinite set. Okay. Now you are taking any positive number from that. Okay. So it is also discrete and infinite sample space. Okay. And can you give me what is continuous and finite sample space? Is the example here? For example, we are uh, um, obtaining a number by spinning a pointer on a wheel of chance numbered from 1 to 12. You have a wheel of chance when you go for gaming. Uh, uh, gaming and all, you can have a wheel of chance. We'll be spinning a coin on wheel of chance. Okay, so obtaining a number in the um, obtaining a number by spinning a pointer on a wheel of chance, number from zero to twelve. Since it is a number from zero to twelve, finite, no? but it is continuous. Okay, so that is the example. And the example for continuous and infinite sample spaces: prediction and analysis of random signal. In, in an example for continuous is the example for infinite sample uh, continuous infinite sample space prediction and analysis of random signal okay is the example for continuous and infinite sample space because random signals you cannot predict no? so there are infinite number of uh, random signals that is the example for continuous and infinite sample space okay with this uh, we will uh, uh, end this meeting, okay? We'll continue.